top of the morning. We are up bright and early. And we have things to do. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing great. It's a good Wednesday morning before work. And I'm actually going to my buddy's shop. And I am going to get my rear fenders rolled. Because <clears throat> honestly, that's the reason I haven't put on my 305s yet. So there's that so he's gonna knock that out for me before i have to go to work get that done out the way call it a day yeah call it a day nothing crazy going on right now but i want to prep the car for when you know i have the blower on and all that good stuff so today is simple or right now anyway it's simple right now simple they got some stuff going on here there's a lot I think that's an ISF in front of this red truck I believe oh here comes the rain That is a bagged ISF. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. It's kind of cool looking, honestly. I hear them buzz past my shop all the time, but you know, it usually just buzzes past the shop. Four moments later. All right. Picked up my coffee and we are heading to <laughs> my man had no choice but to look we are heading to my boy's shop which is literally like around the corner mcdonald's coffee is like lawsuit ready I swear it's always hot bro Turn left onto Moon Street. <laughs> In half a mile, your destination will be on the right. All right. That wasn't far at all. That's literally like right around the corner from my house. Your destination is on the right. Uh -uh. 
we are here. Good morning. Where you want me to park? Huh? Say where you want me to park. Okay. Damn, he's got a little pit bull puppy. <laughs> We are here, and they definitely have some stuff. All right, pick this up in a second. Did you put these eye box on? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the eye box. I did the lowering springs. Mm -hmm. I did the struts and shocks when I got the car. Just try to do a couple of small things. Yeah. But I still want to rebuild the IRS. I want to drop the IRS and put new bushings and whatnot in that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm planning on keeping the car. I'm going to give it to my son. Yeah, I mean, no, these are easy, nice cars. Do you know? All the value. Yeah, man, absolutely. Somebody offered me 35 grand for it. No shit. I swear to God, and I said no. I mean, you might make some money, but try to replace it that much. Right, right. I'm not digging this. What happened? What's wrong? It's just the way this, the pinch welds and these things roll over. It's like to get it to really fold. fold, I need it to be bending out here and I, looking at the paint. Like these little pits. Mm -hmm. This this has been resprayed before. Yeah, hell yeah. When I got the car, I got it resprayed. And I don't just wear it, you know. You ain't trying to mess up paint. I don't want to crack. Like it's. What do you guys have a heat gun? We do, but the fact that it's been resprayed, I've I'd, I'd put a lot of money on the fact that that's gonna crack if I go hard on it. Because, yeah. like Travis was saying, and looking at it, it's only rubbing this little area back here. Right. It's not, it's not, it doesn't need to be rolled, rolled all the way out there, here. Right. But the problem is, is if you feel like the way that that inner arch rolls over, and you're not going to get it, like you see, mm -hmm. so you feel there's that inner arch that builds the structure, mm -hmm. and then you see these are your spot welds. Right. That, you're never going to get it to bend there right it's gonna want to bend out where the inner structure at the earliest point so it's gonna be right here where i'm gonna have to force it or i could try to come in and and tweak it with with like a set of pliers but you know we have like some special flat mm -hmm. pliers but it's gonna that's gonna be so much load in that area it's gonna cause it to crack well you do what's best how do you feel about going about this? I just don't want to crack your paint. I agree, sir. Uh, One thousand percent, I'm with you. I can get a heat gun on it, but I I've done enough of them over the years. You know, we used to do back when I built Subarus. This was a constant thing, and yeah, to actually have to roll the fenders and the fucking yeah. Paint well, I was, it was back in the era when everybody was like stance. Right, right, so like, not right. That they are still doing that, but. I just, I, I've, I've seen it and seen it, and it's just, even a brand new car with fresh paint that hasn't been touched, it's like, no one gets a minimal amount of time. Right. We'll wait on that. I will take you guys on a walk. There's the puppy. <laughs> you guys got some old school engines in here. This is super clean. Jesus Christ.
<laughs> that is a supercharger. What? This is a supercharger from what year? Uh, the 60s. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, it's a Studebaker. Um, McCullough supercharger. If you want to be real weird, put that power on your car. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it's crazy. Like no power. Really? Dale. It's okay, it's alright. Two pounds of boost? What are we talking uh, about? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it was the old Studebakers, they, they put them on their V8s in the car. I mean, they work, but. Right, right. My man wants to come home with me, bro. Come on, let's take a walk. Probably smell coral. Your original seats. I'm always at some magical place with all these cars. K5. Shouts out to OJ. RIP. Puppy teeth. Sir. Sir. Thank you. Skylark. I'm over here trying to film while this dog casually tries to destroy my shoes. <laughs> eh. No. 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 Ah. Get off me. The Mad Hatter. Yo, tell me you guys ever seen something like this. You gotta come with me. Yeah, I had to pick him up. It's got a dog box in it. Nope, you're going nowhere. Sheesh. The bike. Ducatis. Thank you. This guy's a wild man. Yeah, you. Nope. It's lower. Of course, it's bag. This is nuts. Nope. You're not going anywhere. Stupid clean. Two thousand nineteen LT one Chevy SS. If you guys know, you know what this is. Sheesh. Madness. 
All right, we are out of here. It is time to disappear before work <laughs> into the abyss. But yeah, man, they did what they could as far as the rolling, and I'm very happy about it. So we will go from there. Like I said, I'm probably gonna end up taking this to my body shop guy. If the paint does crack, be right at the body shop and it'll be able to get taken care of. So, yeah, I don't think, I think what they did, they massaged it a lot. They did a lot of massaging, used the heat gun, folded up some corners. So I think it's gonna be fine, honestly, for the 305. So we'll see, we're gonna go from there, see how it acts with the 305s. If I notice it's like cutting into the tire, I'm probably just gonna take them off, put the 295s back on. So we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, man. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are enjoying this day. You know, hope it's working out for the best for you. <laughs> I'm about to take my butt to work for the rest of this day. Try to make a couple dollars to get a couple things done in life and in the car life. Cause like I said, um, it's coming time to pick up a crib. So, and I still want to do lots of the car. So it's like, ah, I need to hit the lottery or something, man. If any of you guys want to sponsor me, Ford, if you're listening, I'm definitely here. If you're listening, I'm here. <laughs> you want to sponsor your boy? I'm I'm very open to it. <laughs> I have great ideas and I love my new edge, so we'll definitely uh, we can work together great. Have a great partnership, bro. stuff done just live life man enjoying it it's gonna sound even more intense when I'll put the headers on the headers is gonna make this thing scream something serious I'm over here trying to listen okay that's the the kids with the drums I'm thinking like the cars acting crazy or something bro <laughs> Quick little run around, man. 
before work try to get x y and z done i only have a couple of hours i wish i had more time before work but it's all good it is all good and enjoyable and enjoyable to say the least Always got some kind of construction or something going on on my street, man. Non-stop. You guys have done enough for the last year. Enough. What else do you want done? It's like, geez. <laughs> what else can we do, man? You know? But, um... I need to speak to the guys up at Injected and schedule me in to get all this, the port and eating stuff done. So I wanna do that. Over the winter, I hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough stashed, enough acorn stash to where I could just get the uh, IRS rebuilt. That'd be great. So I'm looking forward to that. But right now, present time i'm doing everything that i want to do to this car because i need to get this car to a point where i'm like settled in my spirit i guess you could say for the time being so everything i said tubular control tubular control arms tubular k member ported eaten head cooling mod all that stuff and i'll be settled the only other thing i'd probably want to do is Ah, damn speed bump. The only thing I probably want to do is the IRS rebuild over the winter. So, pray that we definitely come across some good bread. But, yes, you know where I am. This is my street. Hope you guys have enjoyed my little ride around. I know I didn't get into too much. But, like I said, the next episode, we will do the five things I hate or dislike. Because I don't really hate anything about the car. But, until next time. Peace.